All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about the tech inside the AirTag, how to set it up, and five cool tricks that you can be using with your AirTag. Hi, if you're new here, my name is D.I. Lee. You are my VIP, and on this channel, we talk about tech news and reviews. So let's talk about the technology that's packed inside this tiny little AirTag. First, it has speakers inside, so if you need to ping it to see where it is, you can do that, and it'll make a noise. It also has Bluetooth built in so that it can interact with nearby iPhones. And inside, it also has a U1 chip that's used for the pinpoint tracking feature. It's also water resistant up to 30 minutes in one meters of water or about three feet and the battery can last up to 12 months. Let's talk about how you set it up. If you have a new AirTag, all you have to do is bring it close to your iPhone and a prompt will come up to ask you if you want to pair this AirTag to that iPhone. If you've been using AirPods for a while, the setup process is almost identical to it. Once you hit connect, all you need to do is set an emoji and a name for your new AirTag. Cool. Now that we've set it up, let's talk about five things that you can do with your AirTag. Number one, the pinpoint feature. If you don't know where you place your AirTag, you can use the pinpoint feature if you have an iPhone 11 or newer. All you have to do is open up the Find My app, hit Find on the AirTag, and it will direct you and let you know whether you're getting closer or further away from your AirTag. It's kind of like a real life hide and seek game. The second thing that you can do with your AirTag is to ping it to make a noise. If you don't remember where you've left your AirTag, you can open up the Find My app again and hit Play Sound, and it will start making a noise so that you can hear where it might be coming from. The third thing hey, you can Siri. do similarly Why is to have your AirTag play a sound, but you can ask Siri to do it Looking for you. Backpack. Now, I don't use Siri that often your and your iPhone does have to be unlocked, but sometimes for simple things, it is easier and faster just to ask Siri to do it for you. The fourth is the lost mode. Now, if you happen to lose your AirTag, you can enable lost mode from your Find My app. When you enable lost mode, you input your contact information in case somebody finds it. And then out in the wild, your AirTag will interact with nearby iPhones. It will let them know if a lost air tag is in its vicinity. If another person happens to find the lost air tag, all they have to do is scan it to the back of their phones where the NFC tag is, and then it will bring up a website telling you that this air tag is lost and the contact information so they can reach out to you, letting you know that they found your lost air tag. If you found this video helpful, really appreciate it if you liked it. The last one is by far the most advanced feature, and it is setting up an automation whenever you tap your air tag to your iPhone. Let's say you want to turn on your lights whenever you tap your AirTag to your iPhone. In order to set this up, you need to have the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Then go into Automation and hit Create New. You want to go down to NSC and hit Scan. Then scan your AirTag. So then what I would pick is the app that controls my smart bulb devices and have it to turn on. And then every time I hit my AirTag, then my lights will turn on. But you can also have it do anything else like call somebody, send them a message, open up a specific app. It's really up to you. There's a lot of things that you can do with the Shortcuts app. I didn't think the AirTag could do that. Anyway, that's all I got. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions on the AirTag or you have a trick that I haven't been able to share here. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.